All right, hello everybody, welcome back. And we're now going to um, we're now going to load in a player, but we need a sprite sheet. So we're going to go to package. I'm going to call this the entity package, and we have all our entities in there. And we have this formatted um, player sprite already, but however, it's formatted incorrectly. But we're gonna load that in anyways. So there we go, it's in there. Now all we need to do is create the player. So private player um, player. And that's all we need to do there. I'll enter to import it. What? What's why? Import class. So um, player is equal to new player, right? And then we need a sprite sheet in there. So, new sprite, and we just need to give it the file name. So it's in the entity, and it's called the um, link format formatted. I think there's two two T's. Oops, formatted.png, and we need to give it the uh, position as well, so new vector, 2f, and we're going to give it the 300 by 300 position, and we also need to give it something else, the size, right? So we're going to say 32. So there we go, we loaded in the player, let's see if that works, so let's run and compile it. We haven't tested a lot of this code. but. So we got a crash, which is cool. Um, cannot load in the file. That's cool. Uh, did I spell it right? Oh, wait, I didn't spell it right. That's the whole issue there. Make sure it's spelled right. And there we go. It's loaded in, but we can't see the player because we haven't done anything with it. So of course, with the player, we need to update it. Update the player. And that we still can't see the player, but yeah. Anyways, we need to make sure the input is okay as well. So we need to get the mouse and key, and we need to render. Oh, gosh, why does it do that? Um. So then we go player dot render, and G. So yeah, and we get an error. Do we get an error? No, we don't get an error. So that should be it. Let's see if that works. So there's our player, it's kind of small, and it's default to right, and does it move? It doesn't really move, but like, that's amazing. So something's wrong with this sprite, probably. That's pretty cool. Spin around and around. And... As you can guess, it's not going row by row, it's going like column by column. Um, so that's one thing. <laughs> uh, actually, let's see that again. So, where is this? Actually, let's make this bigger. Let's make it like 28. Is that okay? Let's see how big that thing gets. So that's pretty big. And that's pretty cool. And let's just zoom in here. And it looks like it's this one right here. Right? Uh, it's so big. Okay, so if we move it, like move it by one, it goes back. So I see here, I'm pressing W. So that's up. And so we go to this column. But if we go right, it goes into the next column. If we go left, it doesn't go to the next column. Does it go to the next column? Yeah, it does go. It goes to the next column. It goes to this column, actually. And if we go down, it goes to. If we go down, it goes to this column. Wait, what's right again? Oh, wait, right, it's this one. Down is this one. If we go. If you go right, it's this column here. So they're not going by rows, but they're going by columns. So that's a problem. That's probably something with the sprite and animation. 
classes. Um, no, it's actually with animation. And how we get the sprite array. One way we can fix it is just switch it. And we get the sprite here. But then we need to switch the actual that. Huh. So yeah, this is gonna be weird. And we crash. It's all a raster, right? Yep. Okay. I don't think this would fix it. I don't think it would. Because it's differently here. We set it up differently in the for loop. Yeah, I guess that makes sense though. So we can just grab this for loop here and paste it there. And just make sure that everything's indented correctly. Uh, let's see what else is affected by that change. Um, get font. The font class shouldn't be affected by that. Draw array should not be affected either. 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 Whatever. What? You're crazy. Um, for here. What are we talking about? Index out of bounds. Oh, because we need to do this. Oops. Um, paste that there. And we just change that to H. And I think that's it. Maybe. Let's check really quick again. I think, yeah. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not um, that's not right. Because yeah, what, what's that? That's actually down. So yeah, we're going. I'm pressing D, so that's right. And then so really, it's just how we format this thing now. Um, you can do it. You can format it code-wise as well. We can change the numbers. We could probably do that. So. Um, Where's the dang thing? There it is. So we said up was three, right? And right was what? I don't even know. So down is three. I can do this actually easier. Let's go back to here. Yeah, we can do that way. All right. So and this can be zero. And down can be two. So I think now it should, everything should be fine. Um, shift F10, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, now we're facing right by default, and as you can see, it's all good. And it doesn't look like we're actually moving, but we are. We're moving in a way. Um, but we're not really moving on screen, but we might be moving in the world. But let's go to player and see why we're not moving. Oh yeah, and also when we click, um, you can see that we actually have them at the player's position. Huh. And it doesn't do anything. Let's see if this is actually true. Yep, it's true. Of course, because the animation works. Um, so yeah, it's only nine minutes, so we can figure out why it's not working. So position is what moves it on screen. Um, so maybe DX is not working right. Are we moving? Are we moving? And we have screwdriver update. 
which calls this method, which doesn't do anything involving movement, for the player at least. Am I talking too slow? I think I am. And also pretty far away from the mic. <laughs> um, let's just see what this prints out. Is DX working at all? Should do. So it's zero and it's not working. Okay. Cool. Oh, shoot, that's why. Because we haven't set the acceleration or deceleration to anything yet. Duh. Let's just go 2F. And for awesome effect, we can go that. And max speed, we should probably set the max speed to like 3 or something. This might actually be pretty fast. Attack speed duration, we're not going to do anything with not yet, anyways. So yeah, now if we move around, we can like, oh snap, yeah, we are going pretty fast. Why do I do that? It's shift F10. So yeah, as you can see, we're moving around and stuff. Whoa, whoa. That was weird. So going down just, like, makes you go really fast. Um, player, down, where's down? Here's down. And it seems like we did that wrong, right? Where's down? Where's down? It looks like, yeah, we did. That way. <laughs> cool. Uh, then that's it, hopefully. And just one thing. Yeah, there we go. So we're moving around. Pretty cool. And you, of course, you can make it go faster if you want. Um, two probably, and we can just boost this to three. And what about that? Shift at 10. Still kind of slow for me, right? Uh, 0.5. I don't think actually that will make a difference. So let's see if it does. It does actually. Okay, so 0.5. That's cool. Um, still kind of slow. Let's go to three and let's make this like four. Um, shift up ten. And then we really like that a lot better. And we still like go to like a slow stop there. And we can make this one. Let's just do a thing. Portion or whatever. Stops all of a sudden. Okay, so maybe not. Zero point like five. Kind of like that. And you still can't really see it though. There we go. Just a little slide. Um, a little less slide. Okay, I like that a lot better. Alright, so yeah. Um, if you're getting 60 frames, then, then this should be fine. And so these, these numbers should be good. Um, if that's your type of game anyways. So we're on 14 minutes right now. And we have a lot of warnings. It's misspelled. <laughs> Funny. Um, what's wrong with this? Misspelling. Okay, so this is mostly for spelling. Which I'm bad at, anyways. 
Oh, okay, that's the green squiggly. And I just thought they were just like normal warning signs. Uh, this is never used. Yeah, some of them might not be used. This is not used. Um, this is the place or an entity. Entity. So yeah, this might not be used, or maybe the mouse might be used, but it might not. We can just for now. We can just do that. And what else? And we don't use these anymore. Um, that's it for now. Uh, we can work on world movement in the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next one. Blah blah blah. Goodbye.